Okay, so let's continue. I should save just to see how much we have done. Fifty-four percent. Yeah. No, 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 no. We simply give him. All right, I'm off to get the flower. I'll be back in twenty. Godspeed. Reminds me. Okay. Yeah, that search for the f the ball and the thing and the ooh, they get mixed up in my head and uh, let's get it. The Miller came through. Trade the flour for the sugar. Then we go to the professor. It looks like no one has anything to trade at the moment. Good day. You mentioned something about ration cards? Yes, I'll give you my meat ration card if I can get some flour without waiting in line. How much flour do you need? Just a few kilograms. All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, I can almost taste that porky goodness now. Don't give that meat ration card to anyone else. Oh, you have to wait. So, you got the flour after all. Here's my sugar ration card. Thanks, but wasn't there talk of some hoggy yum-yums? I believe we agreed on a meat ration card. Hey, uh, where did that woman go? Did anyone see a woman in a gray trench coat? Hmm, maybe it was supposed to be a sugar ration card after all. Shall we trade it or we give it to the professor? Because he said he likes fruit, sugar and something else. Let's wait a bit. We go to the professor, so yeah, so I got sleepy walking around over here. you wanted something sweet. I managed to get some sugar ration cards. Outstanding! Here, boy. Take my meat ration mm -hmm. cards in exchange. Yeah, yeah. Backtracker achievement. Unlocked. Yeah. Something is over there. It sounds hollow. Should do this fast now. I have a meat ration card. Is the Dobra vodka still on the table, so to speak? Ho ho ho! Of course it is. There's always vodka. Then we trade! Hmm. I'm drinking some cider. I myself. See if we can do it. We can't play with the sergeant watching. No, we have to move him to the construction site. But is he watching while reading? The story yet? Come on.
the sergeant's really into this comic. Sure, go. For Right? How do you play this game? We're playing three glasses. I'll fill two of them with vodka, the third one with water. Then I shuffle them around. You choose the glass you want to drink, and I drink the other two. Whoever stays on their feet the longest wins. Simple. Still in the middle, I think. But... We had four glasses. So... <laughs> Thanks for playing. Sweet dreams. Can we get three? <laughs> All right. I'm surprised I did it in the first try because. Sent, oh, I do have to send him away again. What's with all this freaking... Wow, the sergeant's really into this comic book. Sure. How many pages are there over that one? <coughs> According to there is something over there, I can't click it. But I will try it one more time. Oh, here you go. An entire crate of Dobra vodka. That's the second best vodka in Matryoshka. What's the best? Trungahol, of course. Then why did you ask for Dobra vodka? Because it'd be a shame to waste Shrunkahol on the uh, cocktails. I'll lower you down. Sound the horn and then lift the slab. Thank you. something to get uh, back. We need a ladder from the roof. See, I can still think. <laughs> uh, but let's see, they have to tell us. No go without a ladder. Yeah. I thought I... 
I saw someone. But it was too big to get. It's too bad it's too big to take with me. Excellent. I'll be free soon. the office of combating the capitalist infiltration of Matryoshka. I demand the Western dissident be placed in our custody. Uh, but he uh... just left the hotel. You're all under arrest. Comrade Major, read them the rights. You have no rights. <laughs> I was wondering about their rights. <laughs> Chapter 3. Is this a puzzle? Agent Onion, report in. Agent Radish, Plan D is a no-go. Arrests have started in the city. Then we need to switch to Plan E. Is it ready to be implemented? Yes. I guarantee that Plan E is fail-proof. Indeed. Plans A, B, C, <laughs> and D were also supposed to be fail-proof. This time right. it'll be smooth sailing for sure. We've taken all possible precautions. Besides, Plan C was a potato's idea. Oh, excuse me? Plan C was perfect. Agent Pork messed it up. How dare you? Why is that all the start agents? Plan C was lame. We should repeat Plan B. But this time without Agent Onion. What? You arrogant swine! Agent Pork. Oh, Agent? this is the old lady, Calm man. Calm down. How many times do I have to tell you? We won't get anything done like this. Let's get back to business. Plan E sounds solid. <sighs> oh. Oh. You went to unlock when things go awry. Awry. I have a phone. Who's hidden over here, man? Can I? Do I have to get in? I do wanna get in, I wanna explore. Are you scared? Come on man, pigs. I had pigs. Trains coming in from the right depart in this direction. Red tape. There's <laughs> that was worth smashing against the windows. So crowded. Trying to get to the iron curtain this way would end with a light at the end of the tunnel. So train. But honestly, I don't know what am I supposed to do. I have to go through the tunnel. The statue of the leader sure is impressive. I wish that destitute vagabond would move along and stop ruining the effect, though. <laughs> Some people. Some people. I assume we have to go to the left. Ugh, it's stuck under the stairs. We have 
to go through this part through the train. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna check. Trains coming in from the left depart in this direction. That's great. Good to know. Yeah, let's try to pass over through the train next time. No man, stay here. Phew, made it. All right, now I need to jump on the train and find Anna. Lena. Hobo. <laughs> Slippery when oh, wet. Stuck under the stairs. But what's that? Bucket. Let's talk to the hobo. A barefoot, unshaven, unwashed hobo. It's a secret agent, for sure. Hello. How are things? They're shit. How do you think they are? It's cold. My feet have turned to foot sickles since I don't have a fucking ration card. <coughs> for shoes. Ugh. Oh, I didn't even know there were ration cards for shoes. Says the fancy man who clearly got one. Nowadays, there are ration cards for just about everything. So... Why do you all need these ration cards anyway? Wouldn't you rather just go to the store and buy whatever you need when you need it? This constant waiting for something because you don't have a ration card for it doesn't seem as great anymore as when I read about it. I can't tell if that's an honest question. If you're trying to get a free punch in the mouth. <laughs> I'm serious. Ha 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 ha. Good one. No, I'm seriously asking. Man, we've got ration cards because communism keistered our entire economy. It's Why ruined. are they all talking like hilly beanies? There's always a, <coughs> a shortage of something. Party regulates everything so that it looks like the system is functioning and to barely keep alive the society that's working for it. What are you talking about? That can't be right. Yeah. You don't want to believe me? Then don't. But I know what I'm talking about. <coughs> I used to be a director at several <coughs> factories. Well, look around for yourself and see if everything's great in our country. And that's how you ended up shoeless and warming your feet over the fire? Yes. You see, communism in action. <coughs> that's a fire. I thought Someone it was a Someone needs to tell the leader tea. about all this. He'll <coughs> get to work fixing this right away. <laughs> He'll get to work all right, digging a hole deep in the forest to bury me in. Well, his men will do the digging, I suppose. At least Maybe the they'll work put you to the bury. In that way, communism does work. <laughs> Hobo. Uh, that's quite an unusual solution. Hello? I'd like to get on the train. Where's your like one without no teeth. I get yelled at if I do. Yelled at? How old are you? Old enough to work. I check teeth, provide information, and make sure the statue is clean and shiny. That's a lot of work for a... What are you, five years old? Five? Oh, I got my second ulcer at five. I am rounding seven. You don't know much about teeth, do you? Well, I'll admit, they're not exactly in my sphere of interest. What are you interested in? What can the knowledgeable information distributor help you with? <laughs> it's not hint anymore. Is it always this empty here? Actually, it is normally very crowded. For some reason Got this guy pressing against the window, before, so crowded. Nobody's getting Goodbye. Off. What's the problem? Oh, they are all scared of this guy. Look at his hair under the ar armpit. <laughs> oh, a map of all of the metro lines. Oh, oh really? Since the conspirators are planning to meet by the curtain, which is past the army base. I need to take the metro on the left. Oh, 
Gorki Park Crimson Square Okay. Let's talk to the veteran. Is that doing? Hello, kid. I'm Colonel Kwiatkowski. Good day. I'm Evan. War. Plans for atomic annihilation. Those were the days. Anselmov rose in the ranks thanks to me. Anselmov, Master. I was his commanding officer. Do you know Comrade General Anselmov? Okay. Yes, I've heard of him, but I've never had the chance to meet him. <laughs> in that case, you won't understand. So I'm going right next to the bad guy, to right? About. Well, I could try to understand. Oh, kid, you are so young. Something big is brewing in the city, and even Anselmov can't stop it. A new wave that will swallow him <sighs> up and take him all the way to the bottom. What new wave? You mean the assassination? Shh! We don't talk about things like that. Besides, if you don't know Anselmov, then you won't understand what I'm saying. If you ever meet that mangy old miser, come back and we can talk. Geom Miser. What's this level two? Oh. Can I take him? A cute little pigeon. What do we feed that pigeon? You there! Don't scare that pigeon! on the leader again and I just cleaned him. I'm not scaring it. I just want to pet it. Just want to pet it. <laughs> just he's cleaning the leader. So why do we need that bucket? I assume we will be needing it. Let's try the lever again, then we try to... What's this thing over here? So you tell me I can get it. Three seconds, nah, I don't. Let's try. Until you run off. Oh my god, he stops. Seriously, guys. I want. Are you giving me a quick. quick event? I, I won't be able to. Stuck under the stairs. Listen, kid. What can the knowledgeable information distributor help you with? How can I make sure the lever stays up? What are you? Some kind of weirdo? How should I know? I'm seven, not seventeen. Ew! No! No! Literally that <laughs> lever over there! Oh my God. The one that raises the stairs! <laughs> In that case, why not just tie some balloons to it? Balloons? Why didn't I think of that? Why don't we ask the veteran to hold it? Come on, I need balloons. Goodbye. Bye. It's not good. We need it to the left. <laughs> Who are you? It's me, Anna. 
Oh, I'm so embarrassed I didn't recognize you. It's good to see your, uh, eye. What have you found out? So, I've cleverly facilitated the escape of the leader's head of security. He's just waiting for an opportune moment to, you know, actually leave the hotel and escape. Uh, also, I've stumbled across, I mean, <laughs> craftily uncovered a recording of a conversation between the dastardly conspirators, but the tape was kinda sorta destroyed after I listened to it. Shoot! Well, surely you remember what they talked about. No. No. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, uh. I'm just kidding. My mind is a steel trap. Yeah, I remember sure. everything. Then talk! And don't hold anything back. We're all friends here. All? What an odd thing to say. There's no one here but us. Anyhow, the conspirators are meeting tonight at the base, near the Iron Curtain. There, they'll decide on the time of the attack, and they'll be presenting everything to... Aloysif. <laughs> Oli, oli, oxen free. And no one's immune Alzheimer. Okay. Let's not. General Anselmov. I know that son of a bitch. Damn it. This is very unfortunate. Why do you say that? <gasps> is he a vampire? What? No. All of my people are engaged in important matters today. They cannot be diverted from their tasks. It'll be difficult to find someone the conspirators won't recognize to get inside the base by the curtain. That won't be a problem. Yes, it will. I just told you why it's a problem. What I mean is, I'll do it. I happen to have an innate talent for acting. I played a mule in a school play once, and everyone said I was the most convincing jackass they'd ever seen. <laughs> I'm sure. But, Evan, you know that they won't just let a mule wander onto the base. What does Anselmov look like? Like a short, neurotic mongrel. I can pull that off. I'll just pretend to be him. Uh, do you have a photo of him? Of course. I always keep photos of random generals on me. What luck! Quick, let me see it. For the love of... No! I don't have a photo of him. It's called sarcasm, Evan. But, actually... There is a way to see what he looks like without the picture. There's a festival for the leader's birthday at the Gork Park. And that beast Anselmov's not going to miss a chance to stuff his face with candy. That's fantastic. I'll dress up like Anselmov, head to the Iron Curtain, and listen in on the conspirators' plans. With my acting skills, it's foolproof. What if the real general shows up? Uh... Huh. Hadn't thought of that. Oh, maybe we can find a way to keep him at the festival. Evan, you're very brave to wish to execute such a terrible plan. And since I haven't come up with a better one, let's do it. Find me here after it's done. I knew you'd approve. To work then. Uh, one more thing. You remember our conversation on the phone? Please explain what you meant by the leather jacket. I was referring to the Iron Curtain. It's studded, like a leather jacket. Huh? And uh, what about the South likes pork on the Ferris stage? The South stands for the Confederacy. Pork is a type of meat. Meat, Ferris, means made of iron. And finally, every stage has a curtain. So the South likes pork on the Ferris stage means the Confederacy will meet by the Iron Curtain. <laughs> Simple, right? Evan, York. Unique. Good luck. See you later. <laughs> hey! No pushing. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. There, thick. Hey! Give me back my money! Stop! Thief! Uh. Okay, I was wondering when we will lose our money. You're under arrest. Comrade Major, read him his rights. You have no rights. Okay, no money, no entry. Looks like someone who knows what's going on. What's this desolate place, man? Mm. 
Citizen, the festival in honor of the leader's birthday has not yet begun. We are waiting for Comrade General Anselmoff to officially start it. So please come back soon. Thanks for the information. I'll be back later. So, half an hour and we close this. What's this band of ragrats doing over here? Helium is lighter than air. Or, air is heavier than helium. I, I don't remember. Mm. Balloons are simple, beautiful things that never say stuff like, Go to prom with you? Ha! Or... <laughs> Sorry, son. You have to be at least this tall to ride the Ferris wheel. Playing on the carpet hanger is a favorite pastime for kids growing up in matryoshkin neighborhoods. He's so sad. Hello, little boy. I'm not little. Size is a matter of perspective. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. I'm Gustav, but everyone calls me Gutek. And I'm e e Ivan. E Ivan, that's a stupid name. My daddy would shoot you right in the back of your head for having a name like that. What? Where'd you get an idea like that? My daddy's a conductor. What does that have to do with shooting people? I don't feel like explaining everything. Kid. <laughs> She looks crushed. Not physically, that would be dreadful. No, I mean mentally. <laughs> Where you can't see the scars. Hello, little girl. Hey, leave her alone. She's depressed because her favorite plush ran away. Plush? From a cage? That's what we call him. Tiggy loves plushies. Tiggy? If you meet him, then be careful because... He'll bite your legs off and rip your guts out, and then he'll shoot you in the head. He'll shoot me? My daddy says shooting in the head is the best way to be sure. I didn't understand a word of that macabre insanity. I like macabre things. Whenever I see an empty cage, I always imagine a mouthful of fangs hiding behind every bush. Dang it! I just imagined it! <laughs> Why can't we take the balloon? Don't think we have a lot to do over here right now. Not cleaning this thing, no. Mm. I That's don't a... believe we've met. But of course we've already spoken. I don't remember. But don't worry. I don't remember almost anything. So, forgive me if I repeat myself. Did I tell you about Anselmov? Do you know him? Yes, I've heard of him, but... I've never had the chance to meet him. <laughs> In that case, you won't understand. Well, I, I can... Oh, kid. And even a new way. What new way? Shh. Besides, if you... Can we move the trash can to hold the lever? Help me out. How's things? 
feet still fucking frozen. Why do you curse so much? If your toes got frostbite <coughs> every year, you wouldn't miss words either. But I can say it differently if you like. My extremities are experiencing <coughs> thermal discomfort due to a lack of footwear. And it fucking pisses me off. Hmm. Let's go to the the other side. Train to the left. see what's hiding in the bushes. This is mildly alarming. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree. An explosive nuclear person. military camp. Restricted area. It looks sinister. It looks like someone just recently passed on to the other side. Something's drying, but I need to get closer to make it out. It's following us. Small He's round talking hands. Us. Dangerous. High voltage. Every Monday. <laughs> Every Monday when they have electricity. In my defense, that was a terrible idea. You have to come through here just to see. Phew, good thing I didn't provoke him earlier. Who knows what could have happened? Now can I go there? Is the base. A long rag, probably used as a foot wrap. A long rag, probably used as a foot wrap. A green military uniform. Hmm. Looks like someone just recently passed on to the other side. Actun, mines. Hmm. A minefield means danger. I've decided not to go over there. Locked from the inside. <laughs> Someone's airing out their boots. Boots, maybe we can get. Someone's airing out their boots. Is this the iron card? <laughs> this looks like a sanitary corner for soldiers. Okay. The fan's battery powered so it can be used outdoors. Can we look through that hole? It's a decorative thingamajig that, well, just decorates the wall. It's a decorative thing. Okay. The poster is a reminder that if you happen to fall out of a plane without a parachute during training, you should try to aim for something soft and try not to hit the leader's statue. Yes, comrade, oh. sir. Comrade General Anzalmov is welcome at any time. Yes, comrade, sir. The men are going to be ready for inspection. 
Yes, comrade, sir. I, I guarantee that the laxative is on the medical kit. No, 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 no. It did not somehow find its way into the general's meal. I personally secured it myself. Understood, comrade. Signing off. Damn it. Another inspection. Uh, I soon dealt for a minute. Get yourself together, Cox. The wake's over. What happened, happened. It's now over. I just spoke with Anselmov's adjutant. They're coming here. But thankfully, they got stuck in Gork Park because something broke. He was supposed to go see his mother after his birthday. Uh, excuse me. I wanted to... Not now, citizen. I have urgent business to take care of. If you've come to be drafted into the leader's glorious army, please prepare all documents confirming the draft and come back later. If you don't have any of these documents yet, you can get them from any senior officer. Senior officer. <laughs> Sergeant Swolzilla is definitely not skipping leg day. Do I? It's always I, I, I. Why don't we ever think of others? I'm thinking about how angry you are right now. Does that count? I messed up, and we lost our brother colleague. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Let it go, Cox. It wasn't your fault. My condolences, comrade. I could have warned him. No, you couldn't have. You weren't on that plane. Zer could have caught him or piled up some hay. Well, I think it's time for me to hit the old dusty trail. <laughs> Brother Golik was celebrating his 20th birthday as a joke. The guy switched his parachute with a backpack full of ladies' undergarments. How could they have known that he just assumed there was a parachute inside his parachute bag? Oh. Yeah, they could. Shit. Even the Z cop didn't help. <laughs> we put together a small burial mount for him. It was more of a hole to scrape the mush into, but he tried. What's with the painted ammunition? Show some respect, man. Comrade Corporal Bomb's gonna come live with us in the barracks. He'll remind us of our brother Cole. Right. That sounds healthy. Comrade General. Gonna have to hold the general here. Okay. We need a laxative. Yellow stockings. What's Yellow the... stockings with black zigzags. Interesting. She looks like a decisive woman. I just also wanted to ask. I already said I'm busy. Yes. If you've come to be drafted into the leader, please prepare. If you don't. Have... Anything else? No. Nah, doesn't look like anything important. <laughs> Secret account. Okay. This looks like a sanitary corner for soldiers. This looks like a sanitary corner for soldiers. So can we... Hmm. It's a weird thing to try, but let's see. Huh. For a second, I thought that would work. <laughs> so I need to leave and to remember that we have uh, some laxatives over here. Where do we throw them a grenade? Hope dies last. If I was getting paid for bad ideas, <laughs> <laughs> keep trying, maybe. Someone's airing out their boots. Damn. 
Damn it! I missed. I need to find a more accurate way of propelling a rock in that direction. I need to make a sling. Let's throw a grenade. I'd rather not get rid of it yet. Maybe I'll find a better use for it. Hmm. Locked from the inside. What's that thing? Okay. I guess we are leaving. Leader, I am happy and proud to serve for the glory of Matryoshka. All right, all right. And how is our guest? I don't see him here. Broccoli. Ah, uh, the comrade Ivan is on his way, but enchanted by our wonderful country, he's awestruck and wants to take it all in. All right, but I'd rather not wait for him too long. Yes, comrade leader. I will immediately order him to take it in more quickly. Good, good. Don't disappoint me, Major. Until we speak again, comrade leader. Glory to Matryoshka. Glory, glory. <laughs> okay. Those kids, don't they have a... Uh... Yeah, I need to go. Ooh, why are you kneeling? It's open. Sir Kizowitz, you're about to be demoted. Where's my candy? The machine's broken, Comrade General, sir. I want candy immediately. I will bring it as soon as it's available, Comrade General, sir. I can't be here all day. People Not won't shoot right. themselves, Sir Kizowitz. Uh, yes, Comrade General, sir. Hey, you in that stupid yellow coat. Yes, you. Don't just stand there like an idiot. Approach my portrait. Oh, we are the idiot in the yellow coat. <laughs> all right. <coughs> Can you see the whole portrait? Did he capture all of the oh details my God, what correctly? The... Well, I see some details here, but... Are the medals there? Yes. Is the peaked cap there? Yes, it's quite big. Gold belt? Yep. Red epaulets? Both of them. Yes. Leader-headed pipe? Yes, it's very leaderly. The uniform's navy blue. That's a dark blue, right? Navy! Ships! Cannons! Boom! Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. It's very... naval. He got the mustache and the glasses. Bushy and clearly accounted for. And he's lucky and has saved the platoon some bullets. There'll be no bang, bang, bang! You ever been executed by a firing squad, boy? <laughs> well, no. Uh, not just I mean, <laughs> one time would be enough, I suppose, but... No buts! Take that painting and put it somewhere with equal parts worthiness and visibility. That way my likeness will enhance the festival. Yes, Comrade General, sir. If I take it somewhere private, I can check off each item I need to disguise myself as Anselmov. Mm, that's great. Oh, this is the perfect place to get my disguise together. I can put Anselmov's portrait inside and then check each item off as I add it to my disguise. Mm. It says, for a good time, call Dean 4333. <laughs> LC plus EM. Oh, that's so romantic. Vini Vidi Vici. Ha! Huh. Latin written in Matryoshkin. Well, that's a whole new level of cryptic. 
It's a fashion magazine for the year 1951. Who does number two work for? Oh, please tell me that's some kind of secret code. Number two work for. <laughs> Happy set. Oh. Here, I can put all of my disguise elements together and check them off against Anselmoff's portrait. Here, I can put all of my disguise elements together and check them off against Anselmoff's portrait. Here, I can put all of my disguise... Okay, man, okay. It hoists up the flag that indicates this space is occupied. Okay. I need to get some glasses, since without them, they don't quite look like Anselmoff. Much like eating food at a carnival, that seemed like a good idea. We have to die it. To make it navy blue. Okay. If I really pushed hard on it, <laughs> it would still never work. Okay. A brilliant idea, just the wrong item, time, and place. Yeah. Okay, let's... Uh... Finally, a chance to see if those daily shooting lessons with my dad paid off. First, I think I need to sign up over where the festival commissioner is. The sign says, Grand Prize. Bag of Sugar. He's responsible for overseeing that competition being held at the festival, where you can win a bag of sugar. There is nobody there. Good day, citizen. You've come to sign up for a competition. Wonderful. The available competitions are bricklaying, songwriting for the masses, cycling, and the ideological shooting range. Can I have your name? Ev, uh, Ivan. But I just wanted to ask about... Excellent. Your application has been accepted. Let me also add that the grand prize is a kilogram of sugar. Okay, You're the last then. competitor to fit on the starting list. So in order to win, you must get more points than the current leader, Citizen Natasha, who has 45 points. The rules are simple. You can take part in each competition as many times as you'd like. The highest score you receive in each discipline will be tallied up. You can get a maximum of 20 points in each competition. Good luck, Citizen Ivan. So you know what I'm doing next, right? Let's see. Who do I need to shoot? The rules are very simple. <laughs> One. You have 20 shots. Two, you get points for shooting the capitalist targets. Three, you get no points for shooting the communist symbols. New divide. Let's try it again, we can do better. 
The rules are one, two, three, you new divide. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh, rations. Okay. Can I leave? Can I leave? Last time, simple. last time. Two, you three, you new divide. Sharpshooter achievement unlocked. Okay. Um, uh, what's next? Bricklaying and songs. So we need 25 more, right? The general has decided to indulge in some cotton candy before his inspection of the army base. For now, he's waiting, but he could change his mind at any moment and go straight to the base. He's waiting until they fix the cotton candy machine. Uh, can I have a word? No way! That bastard will have my hide! <gasps> that slipped out! I didn't mean to say that! Uh, Comrade General Anselmov is a wonderful officer and I'm not allowed to talk on duty! Bicycle. This is the most unusual cycling competition I've ever seen. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I should stop a bit. It's outrageous yes. that you have to have your own bike. Oh my god, <laughs> I have to have my own bike. Can we get the bike? Ink. We need that ink. Dark blue, very stainy ink. They look like a demanding audience. They look like a demanding oh, audience. It's the same thing. One, one, one. Let's see. Greetings to the esteemed committee. What is it, citizen? 
I'd like to take part in the competition. Then you're in the right place, citizen. It just so happens that Professor Volchak, Professor Krajic, with Professor Skarbovich, are looking for young, talented writer-poets who are tasked with writing lyrics to a hymn, honoring the leader, the party, and communism. Are you ready, citizen, to begin? The okay. test. Presented by... The competition? Well, I do write on a constant basis, but mainly in prose, and I'm afraid, or rather embarrassed, because I don't know if such a beautiful hymn I can write, the words of which would then bring to light the meaning of communism, party, and leader. So maybe I shouldn't attempt that either. More gifted poets should write down their passions as soon as they get their toilet paper rations. Please continue. I'm unable to convey with my words all at once the sounds of tractors, factories, and guns. I don't know the verses that could be spoken aloud, how Matryoshka stays so glorious and proud, how the youth builds statues of the leader, and the farmer grows enough beets to feed her. So I think I will decline, so as not to- Enough, citizen, that's enough. Dear professors, I think that today- We have the winner. Let us vote. Attention! Citizen Ivan has taken part in the songwriting competition. His score in this competition is... 20. Oh, so that's a Fuji. Just one request for the judges in the committee. Please do not award more than 20 points. <laughs> they yes, I have had 27. So we can't go to other competitions. Okay. So I have 40. I need 5 more. 6 more. Thank you, sirs. Thanks to the sticks, we won't get our fingers sticky when eating cotton candy. Can I steal one? Okay. Can I steal one more? The cotton candy machine is broken, but the owner is working on getting it running again. Okay, okay. A defective cotton candy machine. It needs an engine, a cotton compartment, and a can-do attitude to function again. <laughs> but mainly the first two things. This is very well written, and so it seems I'm not a native English speaker. Look at toilet. That's nice. For me, it looks like a bemusement park. Can we? No, we can't. So we only have 40 points. For me, it looks like a bemusement park. This is the most unusual cycling competition I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's outrageous. Can I talk to this ants boy? <laughs> Comrade General, sir, I. If you don't have any cotton candy, then get lost. Actually, a man your age shouldn't be wandering around the city without purpose, like a child. But I... Here's an army draft notice. Go thank show you. it to someone at the base. Do not oh, have thank you. Very small, much. tasty midget. The army will make a man out of you, yes. Uh, I was just... No justs! Move out before I have you shot! Pouring ink on the uniform will just stain it. I'll need a large container of water if I want to actually die. Oh, I need that bucket. Let's uh, go there. Fact. Do I need this? But 
much like eating food at a carnival. That seemed like a good That's idea. Already. Hmm? But does it still have a string? Okay, that. Very solid rubber. Okay. Kitty is back. It's a good thing I didn't piss it off back in the forest. Ah, nice kitty. I cut the kitty back. Why don't you give me a yeah sling? Sling. I wanted a sling. Oh, look at this artist. Let's stop it here. <laughs> I'll continue.